Hello all YouTubers, I am the Dude. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for tuning back in. Let's get started on our weather presentation for today, December 20th, 2018. So in my previous video, I did talk about my the pre-Christmas storm and the post-Christmas storm. I'm going to focus more on that pre-Christmas storm for today's video, a nice updated forecast. And when I make my next video, it's going to be about the post-Christmas storm that will impact the Midwest Central Plains, Northern Plains on down the road. So, as always, please consider clicking the subscribe button right there, liking, commenting, and sharing. You can hear some other videos down here if you'd like to watch. Let's jump right into it here. Let's start with our oscillations. And as you can see, for North Atlantic oscillation, we're back into the negatives. Yay! Again, great for, e for snow lovers on the eastern seaboard. Arctic oscillations are also slipping well into the negatives, which is also good news. And I'm going to show you how when the oscillations slip into the negatives, we're going to start to see more of a wintry pattern settle in. And a Pacific North American pattern is also positive, which is good. You don't want this one to be negative. It's the only one you don't want to be negative. It might drop, as I say, it might drop to around zero, maybe the 22nd or 23rd of December. And then it'll, but it'll drop right back into the positives again, which is great for snow lovers on the East Coast. But for the West Coast, I'm sorry, it's unfortunate for you. I did share the inconvenience about how the January temperature and precipitation outlooks weren't released. Well, they were just released today, and here they are from the Climate Prediction Center. I'll even zoom in a little bit there. So, the southeast, mid-Atlantic, is going to be slightly below average temperatures, with the greatest chance in the Appalachian Mountains, the Smoky Mountains. It's the greatest chance of seeing below average temperatures for January 2019. And again, you see the warmth is starting to get pushed farther west, so we're starting to see more of a wintry pattern settling. Florida might be above average slightly, and the West will also be above average temperatures. Precipitation, Gulf Coast, Southern Plains, below uh, above average precipitation. And the Midwest, Great Lakes, kind of looking like an El Nino here, below average precipitation. Northwestern U.S., below average precipitation. And Alaska could see slightly above average precipitation. So that pre-Christmas storm is going to dump a lot of rain in Mid-Atlantic, especially. Florida got pummeled with five or six inches of rain and wipe out flooding. And the Northeast is going to pick up about one to two inches of rain, scattered four-inch amounts. And it could even be some snow in the backside in the Appalachian Mountains. So here are the rivers here. So this is a like Virginia, North Carolina, Maryland, Delaware, Jersey, Pennsylvania. And if you see any st spot on this map that says orange... That means within about a 24-hour period or 36-hour period, these rivers could go in the minor flood stage, which is pretty bad. That's when they start to overflow their banks. And if a few red spots, including you know Delaware, Jersey, Maryland, Virginia, see some red squares and dots, that's where a moderate flooding. That is, that's even worse than minor flooding. It, it's just below major flooding. So it's, it's almost just as bad as major flooding. And I'm going to show you here precipitation analysis. So for today, for a lot of the eastern part of the country, we, re we really haven't seen much at all. Maybe the southeast has picked up a couple inches of rain, like I said. But what I really want to draw your attention to is our year-to-date precipitation. This has actually been mind-boggling. Southeastern North Carolina has picked up over 100 inches of precipitation in spots that, that, that is all rain. In coastal North Carolina, all that precipitation is rain over 100 inches. That is crazy. Basically, from January 1st, 2018, till now, usually coastal Carolinas, we usually pick up 50 to 60 inches of rain. And we're already surpassing 100 in some spots, so that is very mind boggling. Up by the tri state area, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Jersey, 40 to 50 inches. Back towards Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, we generally see less. We generally see 35 to 40. From year to date, so, gen so from January 1st till now. And our departures from normal, again, mind-boggling. Widespread 20-plus inches above normal of precipitation. This is very, very serious here. And with another potentially 3 inches of precipita precipitation and rain coming, that's certainly not going to help matters. So, significant, significant river flooding outlooks could be likely from New York to D.C., Maybe a few speckles of possibility, but it's going to it's going to be likely in a lot of spots. But in general, from Portland, Maine down to Belle, Virginia Beach, it's going to be possible and occurring. See some red 
where the storm already hit, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, even parts of North Carolina are getting hit right now. So that's where significant river flooding is occurring. Not just river flooding, but significant river flooding. Weather Prediction Center. So this is valid for day one. So this is for Friday, tomorrow. And slight chance of excessive rainfall. And I know slight doesn't sound like much, but in this graphic it does mean a lot. And if you go anywhere outside of it, mainly to to north, maybe the west and the south, it's just going to be marginal. But marginal or slight, you're going to have to watch out for a lot of flooding, but slight is going to have the best chance of seeing a lot of flooding potentially. GFS model. And I'm going to show you a couple storms on here. And this is the one I'm focused on, that big rain batch. And look at this huge band of rain here, right there, sitting up right offshore. That will push inland. But you, you won't see that here because every loop is six hours. So maybe an hour between in like 22, it will push through. But just only go six hours at a time. So if we take it through time, that rain pushes out. We get some mix of rain and snow on the back side. Maybe right as it's pulling away, it'll end as a little bit of snow. But mainly rain and snow on the back side. But then here comes that post-Christmas storm. I will talk about that in my next video. And then this is long range, but something to watch out for. A potential New Year's little clipper system there. Maybe even a storm impacting Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Jersey. And then maybe post-New Year's storm. So basically a day after New Year's, we could see some snow widespread from Mid-Atlantic Northeast. So just some things to watch out for there. Again, this is very long range outlook. This is the one I'm focusing on, the one that we are certain is going to happen with a lot of rain, a lot of wind, and even some snow on the backside in the Smoky and Appalachian Mountains. Here we have our satellite imagery. And those areas of yellow and orange and red is where the heaviest precipitation is. But green, we've seen a lot of moisture with this storm nonetheless. I'm going to pull out my pencil here. No, I haven't used it here. So if I draw, if I draw this out... We see a lot of the heaviest precipitation starting to set up offshore Carolinas, right there. But there has been some heavier precipitation falling central Pennsylvania. Basically, this isn't really precipitation; it's the colder cloud tops that result in that precipitation being being a uh, higher rates of precipitation. And you can see kind of our surface low or a loft low right here. And you can see kind of a Northwesterly flow and then a northeasterly flow, uh, and eventually an, a north northerly flow on the back side of this system. So that is all for today. I hope everyone be care is careful. I, I wish everyone a Merry Christmas. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks a lot. Thank you for watching. Again, I get to dedicate this presentation to all the police officers and military crew. Thank you for fighting for us. Thank you for watching. I am the Weather Dude, signing off till next time.